Don't don't try it in NA. No. At least come to Korean server. Just just don't do it. Maybe in a team <laughs> league game, okay, with your friends where you got four other people. Yes, with the synergy your, who knows ventrilo. how to work with the pylon. Yeah. Look, go into your Google Hangouts with your four other friends <laughs> and uh, then you can make it happen. You can actually have four friends? I think so. Or you could call them on the landline and then hold the phone like this. Do a five-way call, hold the phone with your ear while you're playing. You did that before, right, G Club? Before we had Ventrilo, you you put the you put like the phone on your ear, you know, you held it up there while you were playing your N64. Come on, you did that. Hold it, you cordless phone. You got it like going like this. Talking about talking about like you know, did you do your math homework? I think I did that a few times, and then my mom threw the phone bill at my face. Which was over a couple hundred dollars. Well, at least it was like on a, it was still like on a small piece of paper, though, right? It didn't hurt when she when she threw that. Yeah, right? like the like, paper never got <laughs> kept, the paper never got to my face because she didn't like fold it and then threw it to me. So, but she wasn't trying to. Yeah, she wasn't trying to explain to you like the theories of air resistance, though, no. right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she's she's a, she's actually a Korean teacher. Not much about science, so I'm glad. But <laughs> but that phone bill, I just remember there was like back in 20. 2004, it was over $150, so it's quite a lot of money for a month. <laughs> well, there's your Garrosh ban. Maybe the second time this series. Maev gets banned for the first time by Feliz. Mediv is open. Not going to be first pick material, but Sonia Mediv is that possibility now. Let's see if it leaves. This is something else that they have to be ready. Medivh is open. They lost their Malfi. Seems like Tracer is also kind of gone with that Malfi and still away. Oh! We are here, Wolf. Shimada Mada. I mean, Genji. <laughs> Shimada Mada. Shimada Mada. Shimada Mada. <laughs> <laughs> Mado Mado, man. One and two right there. There you go. Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm. Everyone's favorite thing to watch. Why both? Well, we have to wait and see how the draft unfolds to know the answer to that, but... I think... you. I think you need Uther with this draft, though. Either Uther, and they are also getting sniped on their tank. Maybe OJ feels confident after that, Johanna. But on this map, Murad is actually really good. With the rotation, we always see that gank time with the Murden bushes. Let's see what the soul laner ends up becoming. Um, Medivh is still open, by the way, which is kind of funny. They're not anymore, so they are going to grab the Medivh Sonya. Mm -hmm. They're following the trend. Yeah. Covering up Malphibian's weak point against the burst with the protection. Sonya pretty good with the pair up, having a, their own burst and also. Dominating lane, dominating the lane. Felice, Felice should be thinking ahead. Their only ban should be against the DPS, but there are so many options. You can't really snipe one. If you ban the tank, then you're even, even in a bigger, bigger of a trouble. If you try to ban the solo lane, Miracle can actually have an easier time banning like Blaze, the Haka, or even Martel, because they already picked up the Sonya. So they actually made this into this kind of bad situation by picking those two. Yeah. And now I don't know if they'll be even allowed to play the Uther. Tracer ban. Okay. Just in case. I didn't think that was coming. Me but neither. we have seen some good to Tracer. We've seen some Sniper Tracer. It's not bad. See? Strong with the Malfurion Medivh pair up. If they're not going to ban Uther, will it be the tank ban you were talking about? Yeah, seeing the, after watching the trend, Garrosh and... ETC ban happened once in game one. What would you like to see here, though, if it's a tank ban, like burden ban? <laughs> it just feels like a weird, a weird situation because you don't really know what OJ is gonna do. He doesn't really do what you expect. So, if you wanna real, if you don't really focus on the global, or you already have Mediv, why not empower Sonya by banning what what Sonya doesn't like to play against? And you can't really pin, you can't really hit the exact hero with the tank. There are a few more available. Yeah, that's why I just think the Uther ban is the strongest one. Mm -hmm. uh, and this means that Genji is going to have a worse time. Hanzo should be okay. 
without the Uther. They can go for a, a hero that has better wave clear now, uh, like the Rhaegar. And Stukov is, I suppose, an option to put uh, lurking arms underneath portal exits. That's a strong move. Okay. And, you know, a Nubrog, an option for main tank. OJ, I want to see his win rate on that hero. He has played three games. He's 0-3. ETC not bad. Face melt against the portal. So Garrosh is banned, so there's that soft counter already gone. And fits the map pretty well if you need that global stage dive, possibly also. Okay, well, time's running out. It is going to be the ETC mouth L for the soul lane against Sonya. And the support will likely be a Rhaegar, but it will be recited afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's a good matchup for mouth L, but they don't have the Uther to make it really strong. They don't have the Uther to make ETC really strong. Cameras on Judy, Garros banned. ETC taken away. Two of his favorites actually gone. I think he's trying to decide, is a Nubrock reasonable? Uh, we don't know what their support's going to be. Uh, obviously, with Garrosh removed here and a Nubrock being a little bit iffy and ETC is taken away from them, also it's, a, Diablo, it's a stressful one. Also, Diablo with the APA combo is possible against yeah. an ETC OK matchup. Very bad for this map, I would mm -hmm. argue, but, you know, theoretically possible. They just have to find good walls. And there it is. Good call, G Clef. On the Diablo pick, Leyline Seal yesterday paired decent with the Diablo. And it's Judy, who has been known for his Diablo play last year most like mostly. It is gonna be the Stukov over the Rhaegar, so trade-off being uh, longer sustained healing, but less uh, burst and no protection for Genji whatsoever. And against the Wombo combo, you need to have some kind of silence tool to make that make sure that doesn't happen all the time maybe that never happens if you have the perfect silence so i think Stukov yeah. is a very very powerful pick to finish the draft remember too that uh leyline seal yesterday was set up so many times in order to flank it was on sky temple so watching the raven where he is where he is going to drop the leyline where you are standing i like to see police do better than what we saw Gluck do yesterday, because Gluck got totally shut down by that uh, Medivh pick. Mm -hmm. You have to really watch where that Raven is after 10. Though I think Polybomb is also okay. I, I, because of the Mosh Pit, most likely. That's that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Both are on super low cooldowns. Um, Polybomb can be good against really dive heavy comps. But theirs isn't fully that, it's only halfway that. It's got a lot of poke. I I think we're gonna see Leyline, but you know, I think that if you're gonna be very aggressive with the Diablo and you wanna invade a lot, steal a lot of camps, steal a lot of night camps, steal those siege giant camps, then yeah. Polybomb's not out of the question. I think it's it depends on how Miracle wants to macro. Because they have all the tools. They have Greymane and Sonya for both of the camps. At the same time, they have lots of wave clear. Medivh going around the map, not really missing too much experience. So if they go for early camps, early control, and push the lane later, and then go into their own invade, maybe the Polybomb. Maybe if they go into the small choke points, that's the way. If they want to go for real big team fights, then, of course, lane line seal. Well, also a lot of damage done to Malfurion here. Gonna have to go back and heal himself up, even grabbing the healing fountain. So it is just Raven for Medivh. The watchful eye right now over Aimer. Gonna pop down to grab us a, a uh, quest Q. OJ looking for a Noblesse invade, but everyone knows that Medivh knows all. Everyone knows that on the side of Miracle that there's nobody coming with him. They're not going to fall for that trick. Getting the faster clear time. Shrines are open. But faster camp time for Feliz. This might have been a little bit too fast. But if Hanatni could actually 
uh, get a good trade here on Sonya while the camp is pushing. That could be fantastic. Miracle's already rotating up. So all this pressure we're talking about the top lane will affect the bottom lane because Miracle rotates to take control of the Sun Shrine. During this, Feliz needs to find something here. Let's see what both teams, either team, get out of this camp timing. Seems like this one will be going down very soon, but because of the because of all the damage, mostly focused from Miracle's side on the top lane, <laughs> Feliz is trying to push the maximum, breaking into the wall now, but not really doing too much damage as before. Really big baiting on both sides here, but obviously Miracle has more members up here, so they're going to win this trade. They delay the camp capture, which wasn't shown by your observer, but you could tell if you were watching the minimap that they actually stepped off and delayed it. So they have this quick rotation top, clear it, and now they have the winning camp. But Feliz was, like we were saying before, they get this advantage bottom while the rotation is up to grab this wall. Let's see if Miracle could do the same here. Miracle Looks wants, pretty likely. They want to do make it into a better trade. They have Greymane and Sonya. But Hello, OJ Diablo. is here now. Yeah, Diablo coming in with that grab, but OJ responding with the power slide. But 4v3, Miracle is not doing as much as Feliz is doing bottom. Mm, and 4v3, and the thing is, for the de defending side, they need Stukov to make the offense so much weaker. They need that silencing tool, but with the Hanzo not doing anything here. I mean, they're getting a lot done here. Like this, oh, Aimer barely gets out. It was mostly Hanzo doing the damage. Yeah. Stukov really not yeah. providing too much. But Miracle didn't get as much in the top lane. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane's more significant too on this map. So even though Miracle had all these fancy delays of the camp, they, uh, you know, tried to take the top shrine and stuff like that, they end up kind of losing on both fronts. Hanaten's winning this matchup now, and this could be a potential ch channel, uh, channel of the Dragon Knight, Unleash of the Dragon Knight. Genji having to go home does give a quick lead in terms of members on the map for Miracle. They will take this Moon Shrine. Look at the mid <laughs> exchanges. ETC is just like threatening, like, oh, you want to fight Aimer? I'm come for you. You want to fight Hanaten? I'm coming for you. As you can see here, HA2, I think, is definitely going to die. Oh, committing the Genji! Oh, yes! He does die. I'm going to try and see yeses and, like, you know, I'm biased and I wanted that to happen. Even though I am cosplaying as Genji in, in name alone today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. AKA known as Proxy Wolf. Yeah. Nice kills. Nice kill coming from the gank. Genji definitely helped in that manner, but going to lose his brother. His brother's going down. Sorry, G-Club. I knew bad. I was the better Shimada. <laughs> but here comes Diablo. Great silence. I think OJ might have died if silence was not there. Yeah. So not able to use that many skills to trap OJ down. Well, this is a pretty even game after these last few trades. They're going to lose the Sun Shrine. But bottom obviously is being retaken, so faster camp time for Miracle in the Siege Shining Department again because they have Grey Main. Hanzo's like, well, hold my bow. <laughs> <laughs> hold my bow? <laughs> uh, what are you going to do if without the bow? <laughs> it was his backup bow, okay? Okay. Hold my quivel, like. <laughs> Quiver. I don't know why I said quivel. Everyone I don't know. I don't know a lot about arrows, okay? Like, I don't know Everyone about that got stuff. It. Everyone got it, so it's okay. All right. I, I know you're not the Hanzo favorite. You're Genji. All about the blade and the sword. Yeah. Shurikens. Uh, you know, Hanzo said, uh, Hanzo said to Genji, uh, you can't clear uh, camps very fast. And he said, sure, I can. Sure, I can. And he goes... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll spare you all. <laughs> I I'll do a favor, everyone, and give a nice punch. Yeah, wolf. he hit me. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, level ten. Reach now for both teams. The night camp taken again early on the blue side for Feliz, but mm -hmm. because Miracle was taking this camp to the bottom, so they have more camp control overall. Sonya can't get control of this Sun Shrine, though. She's posturing for it, but they do have a bigger rotation up. They are looking for Hanaten, but I still just don't think they win this, right? Yeah. Medivh comes up. They've got portals, potentially. 
Okay, good shield there. And they will finally get it, but at the cost of losing bot and losing the push of their night camp. They just lead line Apoc and Tranquility. Somewhat of a mix and match again. But they do have Grey Mane for Ghost for the Frodo and Sonya. So maybe they're thinking they have more than enough damage in this case. They have more DPS. I think that's, I think that's fair. 82 baiting. Oh, that was a great APOC combo there. Not with the ley line, but just with the CCs. Mm -hmm. Spear into grab into the APOC. The U overextends. That's a double. I'm amazed how Judy can play that Diablo. I mean, he had the angle. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Like, there wasn't a really good place for him to get that stun. Mm -hmm. He's still right at that wall. Still made it happen. Okay, ley line here. Not really. I don't know what, exa what exactly he was Well, thinking. hey, look, it delays. It delays. They get a rotation down. OJ, very likely to die here. He didn't get hit by that Q. But well, here comes the portal. They want it. Oh, there's another stun. Toss. Sniper's going in. Miracle with a really coordinated attacker. Leyline seal worked out. It looks like we might see our first Dragon Knight. Genji has taken the top shrine, but how long is he going to be able to hold it? Long enough, apparently. Miracle just going to look for 13 here. They do rotate up. There is a window, actually, because Fleas is not going bottom. Look how aggressive Judy is going. Yeah, he needs to be careful about doing that against the Hanzo pick. Well, it's not the worst, basically. Without, As long as you know where Martheo is all the time, Hanzo Genji can't really... It takes a long, uh -oh. long time to kill that Diablo. Into another wall here. Deflection's already used. OJ body blocked out, but Maltho gets the bottom moon shrine. In the meantime, so Sonya is doing the solo move on top, so it's going to be... Okay, OJ really needs to hold that fail space melt. Root follow-up, man. Miracle's winning so many trades right now. Silence not enough to save him this time. Go, Go for, for the, the throw, throw for the kill. Nicely done by Sniper there. And look, more stuns coming out from Judy using the APOC here. Doesn't connect, but gets another charge. And not in so low shove to help save him. And they're looking to portal out. That last rights wasn't even close. Did a lot of damage, but Juni lives, so he holds onto his souls. And look at how quickly he's going to heal up. Don't blink, you might miss it. He's going to be at full health before you know it. And I'm not talking about, like, just because he tapped that well. <laughs> oh, it's, been a, it's been a day, G Clef, <laughs> for me, you know? <laughs> I know. You're, you're literally acting like an April Fool. I certainly for am. For some reason. And I already did the favor to everyone watching. Wolf was hurt physically. She goes like, don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> yes. I did it once, and that's enough. Look at this squat by H82. He dies, but he stays stays there for like two seconds. And that's enough to get the Dragon Knight. It's going to be tougher to use it without Sonya, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for some damage to the mid-keep here. Moving up right now. Mediv actually clearing bot waves right now. He's not actually coming and getting involved. This is a little bit weird. Sonya kill is quite painful, but they yeah. have the Dragon Knight, so they can actually buy the time. And use this macro as an advantage. Push in slowly. They can't do, do it as effective as having a Sonya next to it. But still, pushing the bottom one because they lost the fort at the bottom. Of course, the top wave is losing its, its experience for Miracle. Here comes OJ and Martel. It actually goes to the top, goes back top. <laughs> he actually didn't get hit by that last shuriken either. This <laughs> Dragon Knight alive with 1% health. He's like, ah! <laughs> with this 1% health, that will damage this wall. Well, this looks like a kill. Sniper is not even going to get involved. Portal here, looking for more. Uh-oh, Aimer. Okay, he had dash. I'm going to be able to get a camp, though, with this pick. Miracle is controlling this game. Unfortunately, the picks for Fleas did not work out like they wanted. The early Shimada brother pick, brothers pick, picks, whatever. That rotation where they got both Hen Genji and Hanzo early didn't translate well into a good game when they have not rotated appropriately against the Diablo. It's been all about Diablo all the time. Judy is Diablo, make it a strong return. That 2017 Diablo where he made waves it's looking good here again. Ooh. Finish that camp. Only one. Say thanks to Hanzo. 
Thanks, Hanzo. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but if you're alone, I th was that lead line on a cooldown or was it? Did it just get cancelled or something? Uh, Maybe on a cooldown. Yeah, I think it was on a cooldown. And at least not knowing that they were just forced back, just thinking, oh, there's that APOC, co APOC combo coming, so they couldn't really contest against it. Uh, Feliz, after picking those two, not losing the Tracer, which is losing Malfurion from first pick Miracle, losing a lot more diving in here with the portal out. This Port is really becoming a thing. Yeah. More of a meta with the Medivh, Sonya, Diablo. It's really scary, actually. Mm -hmm. The only different pick we usually see with this is the Grey Mane with something else. Yeah. Sometimes with Genji, sometimes with some Taika's DPS. I like the Grey Mane pick on this map though, because it allows them to camp quickly. And go, go for the throw gives you a little bit of bonus range when you actually don't get the portal exactly where you want it. Okay, APOC comes in. Really nice APOC here. Ley line. Gonna come over. The, lay, the APOC zoned everybody into a bad spot. And then they were able to follow up the Ley line. Usually it's done in the opposite order, but this way, because no one was stacked on top of each other, the APOC zone was so big. I actually like that he used it there. End up getting the kill onto, again, Hanaten. And they needed some other CC to actually stop that mosh pit. And saving that ley line actually saved... Became a good tool for a miracle. Belize could not really dive in because of that ley line. They were sending ATC up top and they were looking to go all top, but this actually could be a grab on this. There's no one nearby, only the scatter arrow. They need to block, and they are successful. Second scatter arrow takes too long. Really good plays there to block out the auto attacks and to grab the Genji. Judy, man, he's back. He's on tank, and he is not having any of the Shimada shenanigans today. Portal comes down. They're going to get around this keep. Judy's going in deep, gets the protection. Oh, mistimed, though, with the last right. So the protection actually not preventing that damage. He is going to instantly respawn, but... That's all of his souls gone. This is a huge turning moment potentially for Feliz. Although OJ out of position gets taken out here. They're not going to be able to use the Dragonite like they wanted to, but they've already got a keep. They still have 30 seconds and 30% yeah. onto the wall. So, and it's a 14 minute Dragonite. So they can do pretty so much damage when they don't have their front line. That's the thing. If they lose anyone from here, it could be a keep, actually. And there's the lane line to buy time with the APOC comm. Actually, their look sniper goes in for the kill, possibly. But getting a keep seems like a smarter choice. Why can't enemies drink from uh, your healing the fountain? fountain? Yeah. It's the same amount of healing. Like this It's healing not shoes. your color. Like, the red can't go to the blue one. It doesn't. Even, of course, it doesn't make sense. Now we have the globe, like the neutral globe. So I think that's enough. I mean, just because, like, I don't know. Just because I don't like chocolate, or that I don't like vanilla cake as much as I like chocolate, doesn't mean that it's like it's a different color. I can't eat it. I don't know. I feel like that. You know, that's a little bit weird, Chief. Should we be able to drink from that? <laughs> Someone explain that to me. We gotta. We well, have lots of questions to yeah, ask when same, you go to HQ. Yeah, the guy. I gotta ask that guy. Like, why does? Why is the two fingers Genji? Why is Beelus fly? And why can't drink from the enemy healing fountain? I don't have to ask why Malthel's dead though. That was a really executed attack. Well, well executed attack with portals here by Miracle again on the invade. They don't get the camp, but uh, they get Malthel, who Hanan is probably like one in five this game. I think he's had a bad time. Yeah, including that solo kill once and few from the team fight also. Make sure you write a list in the in, in this note in the, in pink the pink notebook, notebook, yeah, and then bring it to HQ. Yeah, there's not enough space in my uh, cute shark notebook for that. <laughs> That's why I had to ask you for the pink notebook today. You are a delivered. curious human being. You know, I try. Oh, Hanzo got caught. There's oh my but God! Great he knocks him into the ley line. Great silence though, but pairs up oh. with the apop perfectly. Knocks him into the ley line to pair up the APOC after the bolt APOC. Oh, Judy. That was sick. That was so good. 
Now that's how you play Diablo. That's how you play Diablo. But, again, last right's not finding much. Mosh Pit here's going to be a double, but it could way almost just be ignored. Way too many camps actually doing damage to the core. Dragon Blade just not doing enough damage here. Circle of Protection is too strong, and Miracle will walk away with a 3-1 victory tonight. Rough times on Sky Temple, but otherwise, it was a pretty dominant series. And Judy looks to be back to form. I would like to hear his thoughts today. He's definitely my MVP. Not just because of the Diablo, but because of the ETC he played earlier. His Garrosh was really strong on Sky Temple, even though they ended up losing that map. He played it very well. The new Brock on game one wasn't bad, but it wasn't the greatest. But the Diablo is the story in this new Sonya Medivh Diablo meta. We saw it on Sky Temple. We saw it on Infernal Shrines, I believe, as well now. In multiple games. He looks from really... multiple teams from Korea. Yeah. And I think that's really a thing, even in the later patch. I think it still can continue. But look at the damage of Diablo. Only 2k away from Greymane. Hanaton was 1-4, uh, by the way, this game. 